Welcome to the third episode of Photo Vlogs. I am so excited for this episode because we are now visiting one of my favorite countries, Italy. It has always been my dream to visit here one day. I mean, just the Italian food, the Renaissance art, and the architecture, it's just all so beautiful. And I've been so incredibly fortunate to have been able to visit five cities while I was here. Milan, Venice, Florence, Pisa, and Rome. From Rotterdam, Netherlands, my friends and I took a flight to Milan to start off our trip. We settled into our hostel, rested, and woke up to the most beautiful light. It's honestly crazy how traveling to a different country can completely change the atmosphere that you're in, and it's almost like you're waking up in a whole new world. We headed to the Duomo di Milano, and oh my god, it was absolutely breathtaking. Um, just seeing the cathedral and how intricate it all was, it's honestly hard to believe that we humans have built this with our own hands. And this took about 600 years to build. Isn't that crazy? We headed up to the rooftops and we did not realize how many stairs there would be, but so many stairs. It was definitely worth it because look at this freaking view. It's real. I was absolutely in awe. We just sat by the rooftop for a while and just soaked everything in before we went and grabbed breakfast. And then we were off to Galleria Vittorio Emanuel, which is Italy's oldest active shopping gallery and is also a big landmark of Milan. I have seen so many pictures of this gallery online and to see it in person was so surreal. I mean, it, Renaissance architecture is truly something different. There's a place just for We briefly visited Castel Sofosesco and we didn't get tickets for inside but the exterior was a sight to see. After that we strolled through Parco Sempion and it's just so so peaceful and of course I mean we have Sherry working out here. We had a bit of time to kill so we were journaling at the Arco de la Paz and it was really really nice just being able to sit for a second and to breathe and take everything in. made our way to the Santa Maria del Grazi. I am so excited because I was about to see the Last Supper in real life. There's just something about seeing famous works in person and it's just really bizarre but it was crazy to see. I mean it was huge. You know it used to be even larger but what I learned was that this painting has actually been through an airstrike bombing in 1943 
and it has been through over 20 years of restoration so the fact that it is still standing here today and I'm looking at it is pretty incredible. Afterwards, we strolled through the Navi Li district and it was so beautiful. There was a canal running through the district and it all just felt very warm. And I mean, I loved it. There was music playing in the background. Uh, we were just vibing. And while I was there, I had some delicious carbonara and of course an Aperol and I think that was a good way to wrap up the night. The next morning, we woke up early to take a train to Venice. We had a bit of difficulty navigating, um, just trying to get on the right train and figuring out how to take the bus, but otherwise it was really scenic. Um, I loved seeing the countryside and it's amazing how moving a couple hours east can completely change the atmosphere. When we arrived, we grabbed some lunch, settled into our hostel, and took a breather before we headed into the city. Oh my god, I absolutely fell in love. I fell in love with the vibrancies of the buildings, the way the sun hit the water and the walls, the way there was life in every part of the city. We didn't have much planned for the day except to just stroll along the canals and sightsee. We walked along the Ponte dell'Accademia and I was so mesmerized. I've seen this place so many times online, in movies, in TV shows, and to see it in real life is crazy and pretty indescribable. So many boats, so many lives, a city built on water, how beautiful is that? Also gondolas and gondoliers, they're real. <laughs> and it was quite comedic seeing the absurd amount of boats and gondoliers. It, I don't know, it kind of felt like I was in a sitcom for a moment. We made our way to the Piazza San Marco and it was so lovely. I loved seeing all the people here. It was just so, so lively. Near the plaza is the famous waterfront, the Riva Delhi Shirabun. We walked along the waterfront and it was absolutely breathtaking. Just the boats, all the shops and people, um, it was also picturesque. Along here you also see the Bridge of Sighs, to which I thought was an actual bridge, but it's actually the arch up there. It's quite a long waterfront, so we spent a quite a bit of time just strolling through here, um, people watching and soaking up the sunlight. we had to try some gelato. I went for the pistachio and I loved it. We finally tried some pizza and I had some tiramisu and it tasted like a dream. 
The next day, we headed back to the city in the morning, and it was a much slower day. We just took our time and strolled through the canals of Venice. But of course, we had to have our very own gondola ride. It was freaking expensive, but I very much enjoyed it. The views were so beautiful. I loved seeing how the city looked like from above the waters, underneath the bridges, and through the alleys. Our gondolier was also very funny. He made a lot of jokes. I was absolutely soaking it all up. Um, I enjoyed being a little tourist. We grab some lunch, enjoy the Italian atmosphere, and some beautiful music. We took it slow, and we revisited all the places that we loved. I had taken some of my favorite images on this day. There was just so much joy and vibrancy to this city. Welcome to Florence, the home of Renaissance art. I am especially excited for this place because I had studied so many artworks and artists uh, from this place and I just cannot wait to see it all in person. Our first stop was the Galleria dell'Academia, which houses the famous sculpture of David. I had learned so much about this piece growing up and seeing it in person was like, holy shit, it absolutely feels so grand. The photos and the videos do not do justice. You have to see it in person. Michelangelo, thank you. I was absolutely in awe. Afterwards, we headed towards the Piazza del Duomo and the cathedral. I literally had to stop walking and stare at it because I have never seen architecture like it. It's Gothic meets Renaissance. It's just breathtaking. Shortly after, we strolled to the Piazza della Repubblica, which was absolutely gorgeous. A great place to people watch for sure. I wanted to look for the Fontana del Porcelino because I wanted to rub his little nose and apparently the act of that gives you good luck. Off to the Piazza della Signoria and oh my god. I am actually speechless, like disbelief, no way that's real. And 
yeah just looking at all of these beautiful works of art and history that was just standing right before me it was incredible we walked along the arno river and i just could not stop looking in awe i mean look at it all my friend and i took our time here we ate a peach and we just soaked everything in i mean it was absolutely gorgeous As we strolled along the Ponte Vecchio Bridge, my friends and I started seeing everyone eating the same sandwiches and it looked really good and delicious and so we followed the sandwiches down and found out about the famous Al Antico Venario and had to try it. It was so crazy to see four of the same restaurant um, side by side on the same street. Um, it was huge lineups everywhere but it was so worth it because it was so so good after lunch we headed to the uffizi gallery and i kid you not this is one of the best galleries that i have ever been to it was just such a beautiful space everything was perfectly curated and it felt so grand i could not believe that i was in the presence of so many masterpieces and just in the works of revered artists she shows me, makes me talk After that, we headed back to the hostel and ate some dinner there and wrapped it up for the day. Now we are headed off to the pizza. We had only planned to be here for about half a day. Our main priority was just seeing the leaning tower of pizza. It was raining for a bit, which was unfortunate, but I honestly love the depth in the clouds, which made for some really nice light and texture. There it is. Well, it's definitely leaning. Honestly, it was so funny to see everyone try and hold up this tower because, I mean, myself included, and I think that's such a cute human moment. We got some brunch, I got some delicious eggs and toast and a cappuccino. Afterwards, we just strolled through the streets of Pisa and people watched. There were groups of people just sitting on the grass and it made my heart so warm. Just clusters of people with the people that they love and existing together. Something about it. I like watching life happen. Heading back to Florence, it was absolutely pouring. My friends were tired, so they headed back to the hostel, but I still wanted to explore. So I headed over to Michelangelo's Plaza. It was a freaking trek, but there was something so freeing about it. Walking down the streets of Florence and watching the rain paint its building with reflections. I walked through the city plaza and saw it grow in color with people's umbrellas. So many lives. It's beautiful to see so many people enjoy the city even though it was raining. 
I climbed up the stairs to my Colangelo's Plaza and I was so, so exhausted. I was absolutely drenched, cold, and tired. A part of me wanted to go back to the hostel so I could just be warm and in, be in bed and be dry. Um, but as I climbed higher, that feeling quickly left and I was filled with awe. There I was, standing alone on the top of one of the most beautiful cities of Italy, one that I've always dreamed of going to. And it was just me, the city, and my camera. I felt so much peace and gratitude in this moment. How beautiful is this? I will remember this for the rest of my life. I stayed there for a while and just took everything in. I was already soaked anyways, and I wasn't in a rush to go anywhere. I tried to live without you Just can't get you off my mind I've tried to live without you Just can't get you off my mind I grabbed a quick dinner walked the way home. It was still pouring, but there was some serenity to it. Watching the rain fall in the streets of Florence, the reflections made it all so vibrant, beautiful. As much as I hate the rain, it felt like a good ending to my day here. The next morning, my friend and I headed over to the Pitti Palace in the Bobbly Gardens. It was absolutely beautiful and I had no idea what to expect. There was so much beautiful art and the interiors were just so intricate and beautiful and I mean the whole place is huge. I didn't take much footage here because I just wanted to take as many photos as I could. I mean look at this view that is beautiful. And I never knew missing you like I do tonight Gonna put up all the windows And put the lock on the door Put a lock on the door Since you've gone, baby Nobody comes around here no more We got some gelato, of course And we just strolled around the city And I think this is a good ending to our trip in Florence because now we are off to our last city, Rome. Welcome to Rome. That feels so surreal to say. This day's itinerary was absolutely jam-packed. We only had one day to explore and we wanted to see everything. The only thing was, it was pouring for the majority of the day and it made it so much harder to navigate because we were just cold, wet, and so, so tired. For a stop on a list, the Colosseum and it was pretty incredible to see. One of the seven wonders, that's one off of my list. To be honest, it did not impress me as I thought it would, but to be fair, it is an eroding rock dated all the way back to 72 AD, so the fact that it's still standing here, I think that's, that is pretty incredible. I guess I'm not one to think about the Roman Empire. We walked by the Roman Forum and I think that was pretty amazing to see. I've seen so many paintings of Rome and to see it and be here in the actual location is really, really cool. Yeah, if these walls could talk, I know what they'd say. I'm all alone without 
you, baby Ain't got nothing left to lose We kept walking through the city and we passed by this monument of Vittorio Emmanuel. This was not on our list, but we could not just walk past this incredible building. The Roman architecture has left me completely in awe. I have never seen anything so intricate. Also, these roundabouts, how are y'all doing that? We walked to the tree by fountain and I was so excited to see this because I've seen so many pictures of this place and I want to have my own. So it really is beautiful. I mean, the fountain is huge and the sculptures that are on it are incredible. Shortly after we walked to the Spanish steps, it apparently is the most famous set of stairs in the world. So pretty cool. <laughs> The rain finally began to stop and we walked by the Pantheon and that was pretty crazy to see in person. Like there's just so much history here. We grabbed some lunch, stopped by Castel Sant'Angelo and was aimlessly strolling around until we found ourselves in the Vatican City. I was honestly taken back by it because I was like, how did we end up here? But I'm so glad we came because just seeing St. Peter's Basilica was crazy i think it's like one of the biggest churches in the world something like that just seeing all the sculptures that lined up all around us was so so cool For our last pit stop, we stopped by Piazza Navona, and it was just beautiful. I couldn't stop staring at this particular sculpture, wondering how they made such a hard material look so delicate. It's amazing. At this point, we had walked so much and we were absolutely exhausted. We went and sat at a cafe and just talked for a couple hours, and by the end of it, the sun came out, and so we got really excited. Being our last night in Italy, um, we decided to go out to a restaurant and I'm so glad we did because we almost settled for a convenience store food. It actually ended up being one of the highlights of this trip. The food was absolutely amazing. I had the best risotto and pizza and I don't remember all the details of that night but I just remember laughing with my friends for hours and we were all in such a good mood even after such a long and tiring and wet day. But yeah, to this day, I still think about that night and I mean, how beautiful is it that we got to experience such a beautiful city in good company and now we're having beautiful food together and can life get any better than this? Yeah. 